Do you want to know how to check your protein structure using P-Bull? You came to the right place. Hi everyone, welcome back to BioInfo Tips, your go-to place for bioinformatics tutorials. Today, we're diving into the Protein Data Bank, or PDB, on the NCBI database. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for more bioinformatics content. Let's get started. First, let's head over to the NCBI website. Open your web browser and go to oncb.enom.ni.gov. On the home page, you'll see a search bar at the top. Type in PDB and hit enter. Now we're on the NCBI structure homepage. This is where you can search for 3D structures of proteins, nucleic acids, and complex assemblies. For this tutorial, let's search for a well-known protein, like hemoglobin. Type hemoglobin in the search bar and press enter. Let's add Homo sapiens as a filter. You'll see a list of search results. Each entry represents a different structure of hemoglobin that has been deposited in the PDB. Let's click on the first result. Here, we have the detailed view of the hemoglobin structure. You can see various tabs like Summary, 3D View, and Sequence. The Summary tab gives you an overview of the structure, including the method used to determine it, resolution, and source organism. Next, let's check out the 3D View tab. This is one of the most exciting features of the PDB database. Click on the Structure tab. You'll see an interactive 3D model of the hemoglobin molecule. You can rotate, zoom in, and zoom out to explore different parts of the molecule. On the right side, there are various options to change the display style, like space fill, wireframe, and cartoon. You can also explore the different tabs such as annotations, genome, sequence, and ligands to have a better understanding of the protein of interest. And that's a quick overview of how to use the PDB on the NCB iDatabase. Whether you're looking to visualize protein structures, download sequence data, or explore molecular details, the NCBI PDB is a powerful tool for bioinformatics research. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your peers. Don't forget to subscribe to BioInfo Tips for more tutorials. If you have any questions or topics you want us to cover, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.